Canada's Walk of Fame. I mean, seriously, this is as big as it gets. I never would have thought, it never crossed my mind because I never thought it would be an option for us. I'm so just so happy we have tickets to go to the, <laughs> that is the biggest thing, I get to be there. From Olympic gold to getting their names etched in stone, this ice dancing duo's dreams are all coming true. There's something about this, this dynamic that uh, Canadians have grown to love and celebrate it. Still surprises us. Incredible honor that we don't take lightly. And after wowing the world in Pyeongchang, we can't think of a more deserving pair. We've just always felt so fortunate to have that support. Through our career, we, we really needed that. In that moment of pressure at an Olympic Games, in the middle of the ice, kind of so isolated, you rely on that. And I think that's what's so great about being a Canadian Olympian. We've always had that support uh, from Canadians, and we just always feel so blessed, and this is no different. Of course, it's been a long road to the top. Do you guys remember the first time you met? I remember early days. I was six when we first would have crossed paths. Would you have had a buzz cut? Yeah, Maybe probably blonde it was hair. summertime. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I probably had a crush. Tough to mess back in those days. I mean, I was also the only boy at the summer skating camp. Just a couple of kids with some figure skates and a whole lot of determination. But do you remember the first time your dreams of Olympic gold were actually within sight. For me, it was when the Vancouver Olympics were announced. I was with my coach at the time, and he said, wow, the timing of that games, that could be a really special games for you. And that kind of sparked something, and, and then kind of the snowball went from there. For me, it was January of 2010. Solid just month a, before. Yeah, a few Not weeks even. before the Olympics, and I thought, wow, we could really do this. Eight years later, and with three Olympic golds to their name, a star on Canada's Walk of Fame is just the cherry on top. It's so incredibly special, and it's funny, we have this thing, we're almost more excited for each other's accomplishments, so I can look at this and be wonderfully proud of what Scott has done as an athlete and as a person. I think it's just been a class act all the way, and I feel fortunate that I've gotten to tag along and, and be part of it. That's what we think is so neat about our careers. You don't have an accurate view of yourself, but. I can look at Tessa and, and be proud of the person she is and the athlete that she has uh, matured to be and it's, it's pretty unbelievable.